Jason Simpson, UT Martin. Okay. And then looking at him the rest of the time. Okay. Coach, welcome. Give us your general thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, uh, kind of a new team, especially offensively. Uh, but I think we have to start with our defense. We've got eight or nine starters back. Uh, we'll have to rely on that side of the ball until we get our feet on the ground offensively. Uh, you know, several guys, playmakers, uh, finally had to graduate. So first and foremost, we've got to replace a, a quarterback position. Uh, but we think we're, we're as talented there. Just, just got to get some playing time under our quarterback's belt, Derek Carr. Uh, so that's that's kind of the, you know the recipe. It's no no secret, uh, but you know I'd much rather be strong on defense and have players back on defense than than you know that's the path in the past that our program has been offensively has been the strength. And so uh, except for the six season and that was the year we won the conference. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll go down that path this year. Very good. What do you like most about your team this year? Well, I tell you, it's been a great summer for us, and I think already, uh, even though there's a significant amount of playmakers that lost due to graduation, um, we have a lot better leadership this year. We really do. You know, there's been over 90 guys uh, in town this summer. You know, lifting and running and throwing Pascal. Those are things in the past that 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 had to be you know significantly encouraged to where this year's team uh, kind of pleased themselves a little bit. So, uh, as we all know, I mean, it's a 365 day a year. Um, you know, pursuit, uh, uh, you know, of that championship. So this team seems to be a little bit hungrier than some of the teams we've had in the past. Very good. What do you think is the biggest challenge to the team this year? Uh, the, the newness. I mean, you, 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 you know, I can sit here and make all the, say all the cliches I want to say, but you know, our quarterback uh, underneath center making a third down uh, completion, you know, to con extend the drive. Uh, got tremendous challenge in our kicking game. Not very good in the kicking game last year. We've got two new kickers. Uh, can they make a uh, you know field goal with the game on the line? Those are things that uh, I don't have the answer to. But physically and, and mentally, I certainly like to make up. Uh, but we just got to get them out there on Saturday. Uh, tell us about competing once again for the Sergeant York Trophy. Haven't won it. We've won a lot of games uh, at UT Martin, but that's that's been one that uh, has uh, been out of our grasp. And uh, and then it goes together. I mean, if you if you can win that, you win the Tennessee Schools, and you've got a chance to be in the hunt uh, last game of the year. And so uh, that'd be something I'd love to see on our wall. Great trophy, great tradition, great meaning, um, and we need to bring home UT Martin. Tell us a little bit about your schedule and how it plays out for your team. All I'm going to talk about right now is the first three games of the year. You know, if you look at our schedule, it's it's not it's not pretty ugly. We go to Knoxville, to Southeast Louisiana, and at home, the first conference game against Eastern Illinois. So, three tremendous challenges for us. And I think I know a lot about this football team uh, after those first three games. Uh, you know, win or lose, and so that's that's all that's all we're talking about. It. You know, it's a it's a three game season. Let's see, let, let's let's see how we can compete and see where we are after those three games. Who are some of the key players on your team to watch? Well, there's two here with me today, and it starts on defense with Josh Bay. I mean, uh, statistically tremendous. Uh, he's a better person and leader than probably is even a football player statistically. And so uh, he'll carry us on defense. And offensively, um, you know, Derek Carr, uh, tremendous athlete. Gives us a little bit more mobility that we've had at the quarterback position. Um, strong arm, um, you know, great leadership. So, like I said, just on Saturdays, can those, can those, all those practice sessions, all those, you know, throwing he does after practice, will they convert over to our first down? That's yet to be seen. But, uh, you know, we've got a lot of faith in and so those teammates. And what are your general impressions of the OBC race this year? It's, it's it's kind of like uh, Groundhog Day, you know, for the last four years. I mean, you start with the three, you start with uh, you know the two Easterns and, and Jacksonville State, and then and then you go from there. Then it depends on who's got them at home, you know, uh, injuries and things like that. But that's why this league's so fun. I mean, that's that's I've been in uh, 15 years now in one double A FCS uh, competition, and so uh, to have a chance where there's you know there's four or five teams that uh, can win and can can hold the overseas trophy at the end of the year, and we'd like to think we're certainly one of them.